What's up weirdos and today we're going to talk about the best yet most terrifying game mode in Battlefront 2 there is Ewok Hunt. It is so terrifying but once you grind it enough it can be a really sweaty game so there are some tips I can help you to become a pro at Ewok Hunt. Before I give you some tips on how to survive an Ewok hunt, make sure that you check out the links down below as there can be some helpful guides and other videos that will help you survive in other game modes within Battlefront. All right, number one tip I'm going to give you is to literally not have your flashlight on. And I know it sounds extreme and it's kind of scary in the dark, no lie, but you having your flashlight on is the best signal for Ewoks to see you from far, far away. If they see a flash of light, that reflection hit the trees, they know someone's there, they're going in your direction, you are going to be hunted. So do not turn on your flashlight. And if you have to, if you gotta watch out for traps, definitely just flick it on for a quick second and then instantly turn it off. If you're on the PC, you're gonna wanna hit that Q button so quick. If you leave it on for just the longest split second you will die now this also kind of goes into a separate tip but I just want to make it clear as this is pretty much common sense but don't step in the traps the traps can instantly take off half of your health and it's a lot harder to survive an attack on hundred HP in comparison to 200 so try to avoid your traps if possible second tip I can give you is to constantly keep moving the worst thing that you could do is sit up against a wall plop your butt down and just wait for them to come because they have so much time to hunt you down find you. You have a better chance of surviving by constantly running and trying to stay ahead of them because guess what? The Ewoks go in the same speed as you and if you're running constantly throughout the map, I mean they're just gonna have to find a couple of directions and ways to outflank you and that's where they need the numbers. But it's harder for them to communicate to other players where you're going and all that stuff. So you have to keep running. You have to keep going or else if you just sat your butt up against the wall and hope for the best and you're gonna aim at them as they come at you well i mean it works for a while but eventually they're gonna have the numbers to outflank you and then you'll have nowhere to run tip number three is to find as many transmission signals as you can i'm not sure how many people know this but if you actually activate one of those signals it decreases your time not by very much but those couple of seconds will really help and it does make the Ewoks a little paranoid because they hear a little noise and they're like, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> Definitely make sure that you grab a transmission signal. It's going to be life or death for some people and that way it calls the shuttle faster for you to get on it and that's the best way that you can live. Now the next tip is pretty obvious, but if you can grab one of the better guns that are laid around the map, definitely grab that as you will also get a grenade. Now what I'm referring to is that there are some really high powered and better firing rate guns that are just laying around the map. They do have a noise when you're near them so try to keep an ear out for when you're around one. It'll kind of have like a beeping noise and then you'll eventually find it in a case and then once you open it you'll get the option to pick it up. When you do pick it up not only will you get a better gun with a faster firing rate you will also get a fire grenade. That fire grenade is life or death sometimes and it gets me out of the most detrimental situations. That should be the first thing you do the moment you hit the ground is go searching for the better gun. It also has an increased flashlight as well. Now granted, we don't really wanna use that too much, but it will come as an advantage to some points when you do wanna use your flashlight for extended periods. Now tip number five is pretty much common sense, but it's especially for people who are going to grind the game mode and the people who play it for a long period of time. This is a common skill I don't hear many people use which is to just listen keep your ears open at all times in fact it's actually really interesting because you can hear Ewoks approaching you you can hear them rustling in the leaves you can hear them falling from trees if you really pay attention this obviously takes a lot of practice and getting used to as you play the game mode because there is a lot of sounds within the world with the atmosphere however once you master it you will know what an Ewok sounds like in fact sometimes before they try to hit you they'll even do like a little chant or something it's really cute they're like furthermore if you're able to listen closely to hear where the Ewoks are that gives you a really great advantage on surviving a potential attack 
And lastly, this is the biggest tip on how to win an Ewok hunt as a stormtrooper. At the end of every game, there is a shuttle that you will have to board as a stormtrooper in order to win the game mode. Typically, it takes about five-ish minutes or even longer to get the shuttle to come down and grab you, but if you're able to board the shuttle, you win. Now, the key is not necessarily surviving until the shuttle gets there. Once you become like a pro at the game, mode that's not the issue the issue is actually boarding the shuttle especially if you're the last one standing now the most common mistake and the tip I'm going to give you is don't instantly run to the shuttle when you see the marker show up what I mean by that is when you are the stormtrooper and the shuttle is about to arrive there will be this marker this red marker that shows up on your screen to pinpoint where the shuttle location will be at once it lands However, when you see that marker, there's typically about a minute, almost two minutes before the shuttle actually arrives to that location. Now the thing is, that gives you the advantage, it's Ewoks don't know where the shuttle is landing, only stormtroopers do. So if you know where the shuttle is landing, and you run over there as fast as you can to try to wait for it to come for you, well guess what, you just did your whole team a disservice, and you alerted the Ewoks where the location is, so the Ewoks are just gonna sit there, wait for you, kill you, wait for everyone else to come around, and then slaughter your whole team. What you'll actually want to do is just wait about 30 seconds. Now, depending on the length of the map and depending on which map you're on, you might need a whole minute to run to the location. And you'll kind of time it better once you get more familiar with the maps and how the shuttle timing works and all of that. But for now, just wait about 20 seconds, 30 seconds when you see that marker show up on your screen. After that time, then you start darting. In fact, you'll even get a music cue that kind of acts as like the final warning that the shuttle is coming and you'll get like a whole John Williams soundtrack with it, which is awesome. But when you get that music cue, that's your time to start running. And in fact, if you time it just right, you can start running to the shuttle. And by the time you hit the shuttle, it doesn't even need to fully land before you can start doing the boarding process. So if you time it just perfectly right and the Ewoks are probably behind you, they're trying to catch up to you, but you have bought yourself a couple of seconds and just run time and wait time, you will get on that shuttle as soon as it's even hit the ground. Like you can board it before it even gets to the ground. And that way you will not die boarding the shuttle. That happens all the time to everyone because they always run to the shuttle location and wait for it so patiently. And then they're like, oh my God, it needs to get here soon. Oh my God, the Ewoks are coming to kill me. <laughs> and then they die. So definitely when you see the shuttle marker, take 20 to 30 seconds, keep staying where you're at, chill, and then start darting if you're on the other end of the map, of course. If you are actually really close to the shuttle point, then yeah, maybe wait a little longer before you start coming out in the open and trying to board the ship. But definitely, if you're on the other end of the map, you could take probably about a solid minute to get there, and it's gonna take about one and a half to two minutes for the shuttle to even show up once you see the marker of where it's landing. All right, everyone, so those were my tips on how to survive longer in Ewok Hunt. I hope that you found this video beneficial, and please comment down below what your thoughts are. Maybe I missed a couple of tricks. Maybe there were some things that you don't agree with and actually got you killed faster. Well, let me know so I don't encourage people to die quicker in Ewok Hunt. If you want more content like this, please check out the video links down below. And of course, if you want to see the weirdness live, well, join the Twitch channel. Anyway, until next time, stay weird as always weirdos.